Business at Google, which was booming a short time ago, is pretty flat these days, and you don't have to search far to find out why. Tanner Hughes has more on the online revenue that isn't adding up. As a San Fernando Valley realtor, Mike Kessler is on the front lines of the economic slowdown. Although his sales have slowed, he knows there are still some buyers out there. There's a lot of people looking, especially in the foreclosures and short sales. He's trying to lure in those lookers with online ads on Google, the popular internet search engine. Google charges only when people go online and click on the ads to look at them. At the height of the market, I was getting many more clicks from users on the internet than I am now. And he's not alone. A recent report showed that overall Google's ad revenue has stopped growing. Typically when the economy slows, advertising slows as well, and Google's business is driven almost entirely by advertising. Google wouldn't talk on camera for this story, but earlier the company warned investors short-term revenues could be down, blaming attempts to improve the website. Just four months ago, most analysts thought Google was immune from the economic downturn. But stock analyst Clayton Moran says that's no longer the case. It wasn't just for Google, it was for Yahoo and other search engines on the Internet. So we feel that this is not a Google-specific issue, that there's an, this is an industry-wide issue. Since Google's stock price peaked four months ago, it's fallen by more than a third. But for customers like Mike Kessler, it still makes sense to keep posting ads on the Google site. It's very cost effective. If they don't click on my ad, I don't pay a dime. And he's learned every dime, nickel and penny counts, especially in these tight economic times. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.